Gamalia Fai. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Wingy Box. My, my, <laughs> my trainer wants to go home. Wingy but... Boxing, IFL <laughs> TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here with Gamalia Fai. Gamal, uh, how's things, man? How are you feeling uh, in general? Yeah, good, man. We're good. Rare, uh, raring to go. R raring to go. You're looking, looking forward to get, getting out, obviously, after the last fight. The Gavin uh, McDonald didn't go well. What went wrong in that fight? Um, I think just tactics. Um, you know, I'm normally an aggressive fighter, um, tight guard, coming forward, uh, that's how I train, that's how I normally, normally fight, uh, I don't know, somehow I went to different tactics, trying to outbox someone who's, good, who's a good boxer, tall, and um, got to the second round, and I was just so fatigued. That's, that's what I noticed, and it seemed like in the second yeah. round, you had the intensity at first, in the second half, yeah. it's sort of like... So, so I got really fatigued, it was like my body wasn't used to but out boxing someone, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, so I got really fatigued and the victim was out, bloody hell, imagine if I'd been aggressive out normally and just stuck it on him. Um, but I think that's just how my, my body reacts, that's how, what I normally do, um, that's how, how I train, just being aggressive. And I just, as I slower the pace was, the more I got tired, so it was a bit crazy, so, something to look at, you know, um, but Maybe it was just him, I don't know, but it is what it is, and um, it was a good learning part for me, I learned a lot from him, um, and yeah, good luck to him. If you don't mind me asking, in that sort of situation, when you've got a lot of excitement and hope as a prospect, does it knock you back, or do you think that nah, it's life, because all boxers sort of lose, don't they? Um, yeah, but, it did, it, you know, it did a bit, but then I literally, like, not just... Like, I do want to give him credit because he's a good fighter and that, but like, I'm being honest, I, I, I don't think I've boxed my potential. So it's kind of like, wait a minute, I, I know I did lose and whatever, but I don't think, like I said, I boxed my best. And maybe it could have been different. It was always going to be a hard fight. Yeah. It been, you know, on my, on my day, but I could have, I think would have given him a lot, I have a lot more trouble, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's maybe the difference in the fight. Okay, looking to the future. Tell me about your opponent on the undercard of Khan. Uh, I don't know yet, I just know it's going to be a tight fight, I don't know who we're against yet. So um, I guess it's uh, sort of like, get out there, get back into sort of winning ways yeah. and then... Um, well, I'm fighting August the 4th and I'm in Cardiff yeah. and then I'll fight in a tight fight over here in, uh, um, in September. Do you, you know, do you know the opponent for the August the 4th? No, nah, no. Not yet? Nah, nah. You just oh, get I in there and do it? I just, I just want to fight, you know, like, like you say, after coming from a defeat and that you want to get back in there. Um, I don't think I got to, got to show my true potential, you know, um, so, you know, a lot, that's what I'm going to do, come back to here, bro, where um, I love fighting, and, and, and box one, box good. Dog in your division. Yeah. What did you think of his win? Because that sort of surprised oh, a few people, but some who called it. You know, now, you, now I, you know what it is, I'm honest, yeah. you got I a smile on your face. Now, now. <laughs> I you know me, I didn't call it, any because I just thought, yeah, he's like... He, I just thought he was too good, might need a good boxer and he can whack a bit, I just thought it'd be too, like I said, too good. But then early on I thought, what's he doing here, Dogbo trying to outbox a good boxer and it won't go in his way. And then when he started to be aggressive and that, then I thought, shit, he can win his fight, you know what I mean? And then, and you could tell he was hurt, every time he was hitting him he was hurt in um, the other lads, I can't remember, Magdalena or so. So I thought, oh, bloody hell, but, but mainly for me, what I loved about him was that he was just aggressive, don't give a shit, fucking, get, I've been hurt, but I'm going to fight down my gum shield and give it him, and that's what he'd done, and fucking, he was hurting Magdalena, and eventually got him out of there, and he, he wanted out at Magdalena as well, he wanted to get stuck. And when you see that, obviously you've got aspirations, you that's, gotta sort, give, that's you the gotta level give, you want to get to, Yeah, of course, you've got to give him credit, because like you say, he was a big jump up in class, um, because I, I, I didn't know much of that dog, but I never. So, like, um, I'm mad to, to now, obviously, a world champion, good, good world champion as well, and you get a lot more confident from that. And if the fight happens again, um, he, he, he will knock him out again as well. What's the male you find like out of the ring, man? I've heard from a couple of people, you're a bit of a joker out, out of the ring. Nah, I'm, I'm so, man. I don't know. <laughs> you're your brother, namely. <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, oh, God. Nah, I'm, I'm alright, man. I'm calm, you know, cool. I'm cool and calm. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I'm just trying. I love boxing. It's boxing my life, man. I have a joke here. I, I love to you got him in you. Yeah, you got him, man. I, I, I like to have a laugh and that, you know. Fucking, but, you know. Life's too short, never. Yeah, man. And what did you think of uh, Cal's uh, performance uh, yeah. last time out? Yeah, it was good. Um, he got he got hurt in the first round, which scared the life out of me, but, you know, um, it happens in boxing. Uh, got, through and it. got through it. 
fucking give him help and uh, he got him out of there against a bigger, bigger, heavier. He was, a, he was heavier than Cal. Um, the Wayans um, showed how good Cal was. Um, just a you, you know what people don't realise how strong he is. That's the main thing. He's a good boxer, but he can fucking he can punch and he's he's good strong as well. So you know, um, and then fly away to the side from there. So is it the Roman Gonzalez is next for Cal? Because he, he, those big fights, he's craving those, aren't he? Yeah, well, the fans want to see them. He's, he's mandatory, and he's but um, yeah. he's uh, he turned down once. Yeah, didn't he? he wants a uh, he wants a fight with um, he wants a fight before he fights Cal. Right. So um, he's meant to fight in the Golovkin card in July or June, whenever it was. But um, it fell through, so um, there's talks of it happening in November, Cal fighting him, but I think he, like you say, wants a warm-up. Um, so. Wicked welcome out. Looking forward to seeing you out in action, getting back in winning ways. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um, I personally, I'd love to gather Madonna rematch. I, I, I might get a wingy kebab promotions on that to try and get that sorted, brother. One, one day. <laughs> g g g give me a few months. So <laughs> Wicked, brother. Thank so, you for speaking to Wingy Boxing at IFL TV. I'll let you crack on, brother. Cheers, man. Thank you, man.